Hi everyone, this is Pastor G, and this is a word that you could live by. I want to talk uh, today uh, about uh, love, love and relationships, and and love in terms of the vulnerability of it, the uh, drama of it, the the benefits of it and uh, the disadvantages of it uh, how love can uh, build you up or either put you in a position to set you up to be hurt and I know a lot of us have experienced a lot of hurt in love uh, a lot of us have this heart that's able to love and a lot of times uh, because of our ability to love our ability to trust uh, others, um, we end up uh, being hurt. And if you've ever been hurt, uh, whether it's been from a spouse or or just uh, other relationships, there's church hurt when you love the Lord, you love your church, you love your spouse, you love that person that you're in that particular relationship with. And then... Um, hurt comes it can come in the form of uh, uh, betrayal um, but if you've gone through it then you know exactly what I'm talking about how uh, it really took the love of God uh, to to see you through it uh, because it caused a lot of pain and since sometimes there's the residual pain there's the um, pain that sort of lingers you know, and then it could lead to uh, mistrusting others, uh, treating others uh, wrong, you know, to get them before they get you, to always be um, leery of people and uh, suspicious that uh, they too are going to try to hurt you, that you bring a lot of that baggage, you know, you forward a lot of that baggage on to even um, future relationships, and it actually pre prevents you from really experiencing that love thing again. And a lot of people want no part of it, you know. There was a song, uh, uh, Love Don't Live Here Anymore. And a lot of people live by that concept and that principle because of their experiences. But God says, you know, that we ought to even love those who, who, who not only who bless us, but also those who even curse us and to pray for those, uh, to love your neighbor. To love your enemies. So what do you do after you've been hurt? Uh, you may try to love as best you can. Uh, but but you know that as you want to grow in your walk with Christ, you really want to learn how to love others and how to be set free from being just suspicious of everybody and thinking that everybody's going to is out to get you and, and going to hurt you. Uh, and I know it's you got to walk gingerly because of your experiences. You know what you've been through. Amen. But I'm here to tell you that Jesus, Jesus, the word of God, uh, can really teach you how to love again. Can really teach you how to step out into that sea of vulnerability. And because the only way to get to love, amen, is to take a chance. All love is risky. There is no guarantee that the love will, will end up in the way that you uh, want it to end up. Uh, it could just end up in, in, in a very vicious way, in a very uh, hateful way, in a very vindictive way. And then I've seen love really just blossom and really uh, bless uh, the recipients. Um, but you have to pray because the closer, the stronger you get in your relationship with Christ, uh, the greater your ability to love and not only to love but to receive love because uh, to be able to receive love is just equally as important as to love uh, some of us because of our experiences we don't really know how to receive love and then there's the person that you know that you may be in a relationship in, with and they don't even know how to love they don't yet know know what love is um, but all love is risky uh, but there is no greater joy uh, whether it's the love of God or the love of others, there's just no greater. 
it's just no greater gift. Even uh, it's more powerful than faith and hope. Uh, the greatest of, of those uh, is love. So I pray that, uh, you know, I know that God has love in, in your, you know, in your path or your journey because God wants all of us to love. So I pray that you find it. And I pray that once you find it, you, you understand the principles to keep it and to keep it growing and to keep it strong. And it just takes honesty and communication, commitment, compromise, you know. Learn about those things. And and those things, those principles are found in, in Christ Jesus and his word. And uh, the Holy Spirit and the word of God, which is Jesus Christ, uh, will show you how to love and to be loved. So if no one tell you they love you today, hey, I'm telling you, I love you. This is Pastor G, and this is word that you can live by. God bless you.